welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to discuss uh, this question this physics question on the uh, screen which says a bucket of mass 2 kg is what in a vertical cycle of radius 1 at the lowest point uh, of its motion the tension in the rope supporting the bucket is 25 newtons then the speed of the bucket is so in this question we've been asked to calculate the speed of uh, the bucket at its lowest point so we've been given something like this so the most important thing when you are uh, solving any physics question is to draw a free body diagram so we're going to have something like this i'm going to have a rope with the tension force which is uh 25 newtons then apart from that we also have the centripetal force because this bucket is going round in a circle they are saying a vertical circle that's what the question says so this is the bucket i'm drawing here so we have a circle like this so we also need to have the centripetal force all right so um we have this force here which is the tension and that has been given to be 25 newtons and then we also have the uh, the force due to gravity which is equal to mg so this one will be f facing this side mg and then we have the tension which will face uh, that side so according to newtons we can say the forces when you add all the forces in this system we have um, this is the tension force then since this one is facing down if we take up as positive if we take up as positive meaning the force due to gravity will be negative so write negative mg then we're going to say this is equal to the centripetal force yeah so this will be this will be equal to the centripetal force so the centripetal force we know that um let me write it here centripetal force is given by um mv squared over r and the radius in this question has been given to be uh, one meter which is just here so the radius of this circle is one meter so we can just replace in the values and make v the subject of the formula so we have something like this mv squared over r here so making v the subject of the formula this is just going to be v will be equal to the root of this R multiplies with everything this side, so we're going to have something like this R times F minus mg, then everything divided by m. And of course, this square root should be both for the numerator and the denominator. So it's just a matter of replacing in the values here, the values that we have been given. So the value of v will then be equal to the root of, so R is given as 1. And then F, which is the tension force, is, is given as 25. And then minus the mass of this has been given to be 2. So 2 times gravity, I'll take my gravity to be 10. So I'll take G to be 10 meters per second squared. So 10 times 2, uh, let me just say 2 times 10, so that at least you see what is happening. And then we're dividing everything by the mass again, which is 2. So the velocity will then be equal to uh, 25 because 1 times everything there will still give us this, this same thing. So I'm going to have something like this. Um, this will be 25 minus 2 times 10. This will give us 20. Then we're dividing everything by 2. So we're going to have 25 times 20, uh, rather 25 minus 20, which will give us. 5 over 2 and then the square root of that so when you divide 5 by 2 you get um, 2.5 so the square root of 2.5 is the answer to this question so this one will give us something like 1.5811 then it keeps on going like that okay let me just go back Alright, so 1.5811, then keeps on going like that. So now if you round this off, you discover that you just have something like 1.6. So the velocity is simply just equal to 1.6 meters per second. So
so meters per second so this is what we have all right so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure that you subscribe and then if you have any questions feel free to contact me on any of my lines on the screen and then um, if you have um, questions pertaining the tuitions or how I offer tuitions you can still contact me on these same lines then I'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you in the next tutorial video. My name is Amtend.